what's going on guys, it is Raj here, and I know it's been a while uh, since I've done one of these kind of videos, but uh, we are going to uh, unbox something today. And uh, for those of you watching it after it premiered, you guys know what this is, but for those of you who are watching this live, uh, thanks for watching it live, and uh, you're about to see uh, something really, really cool. So, without further ado, let's get started. Just going to use the knife here. Now our box is open. And let's turn it over. And as you can see, voila! There she is. This right here, guys, if you don't know what it is, is the brand new Apple TV 4K. And I will show you guys all of the specs of it momentarily. Just need to get this here out of the plastic that is uh, like a plastic surround. Let's see here. Let's get all this off. And there she is. Now we can toss that box down there. And then get rid of that. And here we are. We have our brand new Apple TV 4K. So, now let's take a look at it from all the directions. So as you can see there, we have the nice uh, 4K branding on the top. The sides are blank, of course. And then on the bottom here, we have our specs. So, right here, it's 4K HDR, and it's uh, the 32 gig model. And I opted to go for the 32 gig model only because uh, I don't really need 64 gigabytes on my Apple TV, so <laughs> 32 should be just enough for me. And then here it says here, the ultimate cinematic experience, enjoy stunning 4K HDR picture uh, quality and immersive Dolby Atmos sound. So the App Store, you have a bunch of uh, apps for it. Uh, you have AirPlay. You have the HomePod uh, support, uh, and also HomePod Mini, and AirPod support as well, which is very, very nice. And of course, that is the new redesigned remote that we're going to take a look at in just a moment. So, let's get to unboxing this, shall we? Alright, that is the plastic wrapping, and I'll just let you guys listen to this. Really satisfying. <laughs> All right, now let's lift off the lid. And there she is. The brand new Apple TV 4K. And here's the remote. Wow, this remote looks really, really cool. Yeah. It's also nice and chunky too, so uh, it's actually, it's not like that much heavier, but uh, yeah, like if you guys uh, will uh, take a look here at uh, the uh, uh, actual remote that came before it, well, the uh, one that came before the last one, uh, they're actually really kind of similar as far as the aluminum goes. But uh, I'll take it out of the sleeve in just one moment. We'll just set these remotes off to the side. And of course, we have our standard issue Apple TV box, which is definitely a lot heftier and a lot thicker than my uh, current one, which is just the second gen from like 2014. Because, <laughs> you know, you can tell based off the remote there. But uh, let me just also get this out of here as well. This right here is our power cable. And underneath this, we get some nice documentation. And we get a lightning to USB cable to charge our remote. So let's go through the documentation, shall we? It's also really satisfying. <laughs> all right, now let's get all that out of there. And so, of course, we get two Apple stickers in here as well, which is really, really cool. So that I will set off to the side. And then here we get uh, some warranty information, and here we get our little brochure. So we have a list of our ports there, we have uh, the TV there, and we have the remote. 
So, like, all the controls and such. So, I'll probably have to read through that later if I get lost, but I'm sure I'll already know how to use the remote, because it's fairly simple as far as using it goes. I've already seen many people use it, and that's everything in the box there. Now, let's go through our power cable. And, by the way, guys, we are going to be setting this up as well. So, this is not just an unboxing, this is also a setup as well. So, I believe actually it just slides out. Yeah, I can just slide it right out. Okay, and here we are. So it's just the standard issue power cable, so you know, the two pins there, the nice uh, cable, and then the wall adapter. So that's that cable. This I'm probably going to save for later because I probably won't need it now. And then uh, we have some plastic wrapping around the edges here. So let's, actually let's first start off at the bottom. Let's get a nice close-up of it here. I'll let you guys take a listen to that. There we go. Got that nice uh, thing off of there, and then we have a nice embossed Apple logo. And the top is actually quite nice too. It's like a matte plastic almost. Definitely different from the uh, current one I have. Now, that was really satisfying as well. <laughs> so, now we have our glossy sides as well. So, yep, on the back here we have HDMI, Ethernet, our power jack, and then we have our IR receiver right there. So, without further ado, let's take this over here to my setup, which, don't mind my messy room, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, let me just show you guys a nice quick little comparison here. So this is my second gen uh, Apple TV. Actually, sorry, no, this is my third gen Apple TV from like 2014 uh, that, you know, I've had for a little while now. Uh, that is the bottom of it uh, and still mind it being super dirty. But uh, yeah, so that's my current Apple TV and it has a power uh, cable, of course, well, power uh, jack has a micro USB down there, HDMI. Uh, optical uh, or digital, uh, yeah, sorry, optical audio and uh, Ethernet. So it has just a few more ports than my new one here, uh, which actually also now has the addition of a fan as well. If you guys didn't know that, so without further ado, we are going to set it up. But before we do that, we are going to come back over here, and we are going to get our remote out of its sleeve, so I can show that to you guys. So, this will just slide out, like so. And here we are. We have our brand new Siri remote. And as you guys can see here, uh, this right here is the Siri button on the side. Then we have a nice uh, control wheel here, similar to uh, this actually, but slightly different. Then we have our power button here to control it, and that's our back button, menu button, play pause, mute, and then volume up and down. So it's nice and simple, I would say. Then there's our lightning port there on the bottom because the battery is rechargeable and Apple logo on the back. And then this is obviously the older mode, which had, you know, the user replaceable coin style battery. And this one was a lot more simple and from the Steve Jobs era as well. But if you look at thickness here, it's actually really reminiscent of the iPhone 12 design now as far as um, like, you know, it's a side view here. But looking at, like, thicknesses of these remotes, you can clearly tell that the one from the Steve Jobs era is a lot thinner. Because this one is definitely a lot thicker and reminiscent of the iPhone 12 slash iPad Pro design. Like, if you look at the iPad Pro, for example, that obviously has that squared off edge uh, with the slightly tapered off edges. And then this remote also has that as well. So, that is our remote. Now let's get our power cable and go over here. And we are going to swap out the HDMI cable uh, that's on my current one here uh, to the brand new one because I'm probably not going to be using the old one anymore. I'll just keep it as like a nice little relic. Um, so let's plug it in right there. There we go. 
uh, it went in nice and smooth and let's plug in our power cable and like I said guys don't mind like you know all the dust and everything I have not dusted recently and I really need to so yep that's that would explain why all the dust is there and then let's plug in our power there we go and then that will sit right there I'll probably have to clean it off at some point uh, but for now it's okay then I'll just loop the wire around here just to uh, make this uh, quick. All right, we now have power, and it is now booting up. So I'm going to just set that other one there. Now let's turn on the TV so that you guys can see what's happening here. And when this does actually come up, guys, I'm going to show you that, uh, you know, essentially uh, there's going to be some setup on the iPhone. So that's when I'll cut to, uh, you know, showing you guys all of that. So looks like I need to switch the HDMI. Let's see here. Sometimes this TV can be a little dodgy. Which is why, you know, eventually I might get a new TV. <laughs> but, I mean, for now this one works. Okay, here we go. So we are now on the setup menu here. And as you can see here, this is how the remote works. So you can button down like this, or you can use the actual dedicated buttons, which is really cool. Personally, I prefer the trackpad actually, so I'm gonna use that. All right. Now let's go through all of these. Okay, now this is the part where I'm going to be cutting to my phone. Alright guys, we are now on my phone, and before we set this up, I just wanted to say a quick shout out to my good friend, uh, Jay. Uh, also, uh, her uh, channel is going to be in the uh, description below, and there's going to be a card as well uh, on this video that will pop up any second now. But uh, I just wanted to say that, you know, she's uh, been a really good friend to me, and I really wanted to shout out her uh, channel. And uh, I also, uh, I'm going to have another card pop up here in just a second, and that is going to be for... Uh, oh, excuse that notification. Uh, that's going to be for uh, her unboxing video as well of her brand new Apple Watch SE, which is honestly very awesome. So please, uh, guys, go to her channel, show her channel some love, and also please uh, go watch her new video as well. It is really awesome, honestly. And uh, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get to setting up this Apple TV. Alrighty guys, we are now on the uh, setup process here. Uh, now let's hold this close to this, and here we go. Now let's go through the setup process, shall we? Alright, looks like I got a code on my TV. Let's uh, type that on in. Now it's setting up the Wi-Fi. Which should take just a few seconds here. All right, let's see here. And in the meantime, guys, while that's uh, setting up the Wi-Fi, uh, I will say, actually, uh, like, looking at all of this, I mean, it's really, really cool, honestly. Well, let's see here. So, looks like... Now it's just setting up iCloud, of course, which, you know, will come in handy later. Means I don't have to manually type everything in, <laughs> which would have taken a while. Okay, here we go. Uh, so now uh, we can use the remote on uh, the iPhone, which we're not going to do. So now I'm going to cut back to uh, the TV. Alrighty, guys, we are now back on the TV, and now it's just asking us to uh, basically either always require a password, uh, like to like make purchases and that kind of stuff. Uh, I am going to say always require just for security reasons. Uh, and then these are just settings from my iPhone. Let's see, the following settings can be transferred from the iPhone from Raj's iPhone 12 Pro, or you can customize them individually. So it's going to allow Siri to use uh, voice input for context location. It's going to allow uh, audio for dictation, allow apps to track your location with your permission, share analytics. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll have it as the same. Have a TV provider? Not now. Uh, and then this Apple TV is in my bedroom. 
Let's see, with the aerial screensaver, you can enjoy HD video of beautiful locations. Let's just hit automatically download. Uh, I will share my app analytics with developers. Let's hit agree to the terms and conditions. And here we are. We are now on the home screen of my Apple TV. So the first app we are going to get here is YouTube, of course, because I want to show you guys um, like what my videos will look like. And as you can see there, I'm just kind of panning over all of that there. Now let's go here and let's actually use Siri. YouTube. YouTube. Oh, wait, okay. I, I think I have to hold it down. YouTube. Oh, oops. <laughs> Find YouTube. There we go. That was actually fairly quick. So, yeah, actually, when using Siri, guys, on this new Apple TV, you have to hold down this button and talk into this mic right up here. So that is how it works right there. Now, once this is done downloading, actually, I'm going to show you guys how the uh, power button works as well. So, we are now launching into YouTube. Now, I just have to sign in real quick. Let's see here. So, then this is just uh, asking me to do that. Actually, you know what? We'll uh, do that in just a moment. Uh, I'm going to show you guys, uh, like, how this remote works. So, if I click this... Okay, so now it's asking me to press and hold to switch everything off. So if I do that, it uh, turns off my Apple TV, which is fairly nice. And then if I do this, if I hold down the power button again, it boots right back up where I left off. So that is what that says there, and it says a nice little welcome back, Raj. And then you can hold the uh, thing here to uh, actually switch users, which is very, very cool. <laughs> And then you have, you know, your Apple Music controls here and yada yada. Actually, you know what? That's the one thing I do want to test out here real quick is um, Apple Music. Let's see here. Go to Apple Music. There we go. That was nice and fast. Now let's find some uh, non-copyrighted music. Let's see here. NCS. Oh, oops. <laughs> NCS. I need to get used to that. <laughs> NCS. Oh, it's including an I in there. That's fine. All right, let's play some NCS here. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> then if I hit the menu button here, it still plays in the background. And then you have like a nice little uh, player there. And if you hit the back button here, you can go back to the menu. Now, let's go back into Apple Music. Let's just pause that, go back to our home screen. And then that is just some info on what that was there. And let's uh, relaunch into YouTube real quick. And we are real quickly going to uh, basically do this. Okay, uh, now I will need my iPad for this step. So we are now in. Okay, now let's go to one of my videos here. Let's go to my channel. Oh, oops, wrong thing. I think I go to library. Yeah, here we go. All right. Let's watch like one of my intros here. Why not? Okay, wait, can we control the quality as well? Oh, okay, oh, <laughs> I just exited out of the whole thing. What am I doing? Launch YouTube. Yeah, that's why Siri is really useful for this kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, I know. Okay. Ah, <laughs> I really need to get used to this. Okay, let's see. Oh, so that already. Okay. Nope. Oh, now it's just going to play them all over. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, I want to pause it. Okay, now let's uh, look for quality options here. Uh, quality. Oh, here we go. 
Nice, looks like it's set to 4K. Okay, sweet. Okay, and there is actually one more demo that I wanted to go through with you guys on this new Apple TV. So let's jump into settings. Let's go to video and audio. Let's see here. Let's go to format here. Oh, looks like uh, this can only go up to 1080p and SDR. Okay, that's all right. Just because, you know, my TV's not 4K. Gotcha. But it can do HDR, so that's nice. And it still uses the 4K playback on YouTube. Okay. Let's hit try HDR. Looks like that's just now going to have to reboot. All right. Let's hit OK. All right. Let's see how much better this looks, hopefully. Let's see. Let's go into here. Looks like that's on Chroma. Let's see. Match content. What's this? Uh, match dynamic range, sure. Match frame rate, sure. Now we can go back. And then let's, uh, let's go to the color calibration or color balance. Let's see here. No, not that. <laughs> let's go to color balance. And let's see here. Now we just have to do that. Let's see. Okay, adjust color balance. So I'm assuming we just uh, do that. Okay, so yep, looks like I have it right here on my uh, 10. So let's do that, shall we? So this is the prompt you get right here. So it says here, now you can use color balance. Now let's hit continue, now it's preparing. So now you get this nice little screen here. So now you just have to hold it like so about an inch away from the TV screen. Oh. Now it's going to measure there. So actually guys, after some fiddling around, we finally got it to work, which is awesome. So now let's view the results. So this is using balanced, and this is the original. So as you guys can see, there, there's a slight difference as far as that goes. With the balanced, it's a lot warmer and sharper. Whereas with the original, it's a little uh, blown out, I would say. So you can definitely see a little bit of a difference there. So that is all now balanced, which is fantastic. Let's see. Now let's also do this. And then this should still mean that the colors are still balanced, hopefully. So now let's go back, and let's go all the way down here. Okay, let's, because uh, it seems like it took that off, so let's try that again. Yeah, so, okay, looks like it uh, seems like if you enable HDR on uh, your uh, Apple TV like that, then basically color balance just does not apply, which is kind of interesting. Hmm. And with HDR, it looks like it's a little blown out, so I might actually switch that back. Let's see here. I'll probably just do 1080p and SDR, because that looks the best. Uh, at least on this, because my TV is not HDR certified, so. My TV is uh, pretty basic as far as that goes. So I'll just keep it like this, because, yeah, I mean, with this, it's already uh, balanced, at least, for the colors, so. Yep, that's just kind of the thing I wanted to show you guys there. So, yeah, um, that is that.